What's going on everybody, Sean Pierce Johnson here and welcome to my demo and review of The Navigator by Jennings Guitars. Okay, friends, it is time to talk Telecasters and Tele style guitars. Now, typically, I'm a Les Paul guy. That's where I find home more often than not. But if there's one particular guitar model that has captured my attention and imagination, unlike any other, it is the Telecaster style body shape to the point that when I was going for a seven string, I went with a Chapman ML7T. And I decided this past year to kind of explore the idea of getting a Telecaster again. I had one many years ago, but I just fell out of love with it and can't really explain why I could go on and on about it. But I decided this was the year. I wanted to find a Telecaster. I wanted to get a F style guitar that I was actually going to get along with and actually really enjoy playing and enter Chad Jennings and the Jennings Navigator. I have been playing this like crazy over the course of the last few months because I wanted to know whether or not this was going to capture my heart the way I've hoped a Telecaster would and I'm going to tell you right now it has. So much so that when this is all said and done I will be paying Chad good money to get my own version of this guitar, something that is, suits my style a little bit more because I like it that much. Now what you're gonna find when you go and build your own Navigator on the Jennings website is that these start at $1,500, which is pretty remarkable for an American-made, handmade custom guitar. It's very impressive, and you have quite a bit of room to play around with it. So let's talk about the specs, and at each point on the guitar, I'll tell you about the different options that you have. Now, first and foremost, the body. Ash, a very classic Fender tone wood, but you have few different colors to choose from other than this sonic blue. You can get it in a classic black, classic white, or butterscotch. So you have a wide variety of, well, it's four colors, but there's still quite a bit that you can do to this guitar to make it your own. Now they are matte finish, so you'll see there's not really any glare coming off of the guitar right now, only on the hardware, so they photograph very, very nicely. And he doesn't put any grain filler in it, so you actually see the paint starting to seep into the pores of the wood, which actually has a really cool kind of reclaimed wood look that I think is pretty awesome. Now, on the body, you can choose between a white or a plaque pickguard, and you can choose it to match, or you can mix and match however you want with the colors and come up with your own thing, however you like it. Now, the neck is maple, and there's two ways that you can go about the maple neck. You can either get it untinted or, like I have right here, a tinted neck. Now, the tinted neck will give you a slightly more yellow hue to the maple wood. Uh, the unfinished and untinted will be a little bit more bright, brilliant white, but I really like the way that the tinted maple looks. Kind of gives it an aged look with, that, with it being a brand new guitar. Now, one of my favorite things about the neck is the access heel. It's a very nice, comfortable access heel that you can get all the way to the high edge of the fretboard and not really run into any trouble. It's a very nice thing. Those Telecaster uh, neck heels can be quite cumbersome to deal with. Now, you can choose between a rosewood fretboard, like I have here on this Navigator, or a maple fretboard. Very nice. Now, when it comes to the headstock, there's six in-line vintage-style Cluson tuners. There's two different string trees here on the headstock, and you can either choose to have it unpainted or painted to match the body color. Now, when it comes to your electronics, you have a set of McNelly pickups in the bridge and neck position, and these are fantastic-sounding Telecaster pickups. One volume control, one tone control, and a three-way Telecaster style toggle switch. So for $1,500, you can craft yourself quite a nice custom instrument. It'd be interesting to see this sonic blue with a white 
pick guard and a painted headstock, maybe the painted headstock and the black pick guard, maybe do white, white, white. I mean, you, you can do a whole lot of different stuff with it. And by the way, just one little note before we move on, the uh, white switch tip on the uh, pickup selector is a nice little touch that kind of ties the whole guitar together. So I really enjoy it. But we've blabbered enough. It's time to get to some tones. We are going to be testing the Jennings Navigator into my Orange Rocker Verb 100 for clean and dirty. We will rifle through all the different tones, clean and dirty, of these beautiful pickups. I'll give you some chords, give you some arpeggios, and give you a little lick or two. So let's take a listen to the clean tones on the Jennings Navigator. <laughs> since this is a Telecaster, I think it's only fair that we slap on some compression and get a little bit of a chicken pickin' thing going. So I'm gonna add on the orange Kong presser, and here we go. <laughs> Let's go ahead, switch over to the dirty channel of the rocker verb and hear how this thing can rock. Let's go ahead and slap on a little extra juice from the Full Tone OCD, and let's see what kind of weedly woo meatles we can get up to. <laughs> when it comes to this guitar, I'm finding everything that I really want to find in a Telecaster style guitar. You get the twang, you get the nice kind of warm, glassy neck pickup sound, you got that nice quack of the middle position, but then when you slap on some distortion, this thing is not just a twang machine, this is a riff machine. As a matter of fact, let me just go ahead and do something real quick. Thank you. 
riffs from two of my band's songs, and I actually have a sound that's like, hey, that's a hard rock sound. That's something that I could use and be happy with. Got that nice kind of spanky articulation that might, in a heavier section, work out really well. But if you want to warm it up a little bit, let's go ahead and roll down the tone knob. that out fuzz on some gain and just it didn't feel like too shrill and that's really one of the things that I'm loving about these pickups they're just so well tuned and even with some decent amount of gain like that hum that you normally get from single coils, it's there, but it's very subdued. I have not run into true single coils that are this quiet in quite some time. But of course, for that classic kind of thing of what you would expect a Telecaster to do, full up on the tone, some nice squashy compression, a little bit of slap back. <laughs> I'm not really a, that much of a country player, but there's just something about the magic of a Telecaster that speaks to me. And that, my friends, is just a little taste of what the Jennings Navigator can do. Now, in terms of my tele search, my tele search is over. I have found the one that I want. Now, I don't know what it is about other Telecaster style guitars, especially the ones that come out of Fender. They just don't really seem to do it for me. But this one, it just feels like there's so much thought put into making this a quality, well-playing guitar that is easily accessible. And I am amazed at the quality that you get for the money. Now, I have the model with the standard Jennings neck profile, which has a bit of a soft V shape to it. And normally I don't like V shaped necks, but I find this one to be so comfortable that when I had played this guitar for about two weeks straight exclusively, I went back to other guitars in my collection and I was having a little bit of trouble, to be honest with you. Now, I love the McNelly pickups. They sound phenomenal. You can get the country tones, jazz tones, blues tones, rock tones. I mean, we riffed it up in drop D, and we might even be able to detune this a little bit farther and get some pretty rad tones out of it. So a big, big A plus for me. I love that this guitar stays in tune well. Now, most people would say that a three saddle bridge does not stay in tune very well, but I am finding that this stays in tune quite nicely. And hey, you can even go through the body or top loader style for a couple different Telecaster flavors if you so choose. All in all, for $1,500, the Jennings Navigator is going to be hard to beat. And if you want to see more of the details and maybe pick up one for yourself, go to JenningsGuitars.com and you can play around the custom builder and see a few examples of what is out there. And in the meantime, let me know what you thought of the Jennings Navigator and if you would like to see more of it. If so, please let me know in the comment section below and please do click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you come back for another video very, very soon. Thank you all so much for spending your time with me today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and until next time, my friends, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson, wishing you all out 
out there a great tone and happy stomping. Cheers. Cheers.